Hello guys, Andy here and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna talk about all the features that come with the iOS 80. Of course, when you buy the new iPhone, you won't get absolutely everything with iOS 18. Also, this is a beta version, which means that it's like a preview of what you should expect from the newest feature. Also, talking about Apple Intelligence, it's not launched right away with the new iPhone and it will be available only on the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 16 lineup. So if you're like me with iPhone 14 Pro Max or any other iPhone below the iPhone 15 lineup, you won't get Apple Intelligence. Personally, for my daily activities, I, thought, I think I'll survive without Apple Intelligence because it's not gonna change my life that much. But there's so many new awesome updates that are coming with iOS 18 and we're about to check them out. First, we have customization. Who doesn't love to customize their iPhone? I remember when widgets appeared for the first time, people were sharing all over their Instagram stories how they customized their iPhone, what theme it was. Also, with the app shortcuts, you can literally change the icons to any app, to pretty much anything you want. And now they're bringing even more and better feature. First, you can rearrange your icons everywhere you want. I expected like you could literally put them like different places, but you still have like an invisible border that you still that allows you to put them wherever you want. And also the other cool thing, we can go dark mode into icons. Any app that has dark mode is turned on on my phone. I don't mind light mode. I am not against it, but most of the time I'm using my phone for a long period of time during the night and dark mode is better for me. It doesn't irritate me as much as the lighter mode, so I just prefer to use this one. But the fact that you can customize, make your iPhone even more personalized with this, like who wouldn't want this? Let's just ask it like this. Why wouldn't you do it if you have this option? I still haven't upgraded to the iOS 18 because I've kind of waited for the full complete version and also I'm happy with the current and the latest update of the iOS 17, but customization is one of the first things that come with this new update. The second thing is control center. I don't know how often people use control center when it comes to their daily tasks, but I use it mainly for two things, screen recording and flashlight. Yes, believe it or not, sometimes when we are going out and we need a bit more light, I just use it to adjust the brightness of the light of the flashlight, even though I have it on my lock screen, you have more access now. Also with all these new features, it's not only limited to what you see on the access control. You can access to your music, to your home controls, or add any home control that you want. Even I see people have added custom icons to their home, which is something interesting. Like, Yes, this custom icon doesn't do anything, but it's just staying there, you know, with you, like you can do a heart emoji, you can do a butterfly, you can do pretty much anything you want. And that allows you to make your phone even more personalized, not only from your home screen features, but now with your controls and able to access your most needed, or maybe I should say most used home control just from one swipe away. Another interesting update, which I think will be very useful, especially if you let people borrow your phone or you just want to show your parents something, but instead of going and looking only through this thing, they start swapping up to check if you're posting something or not, is to lock an app. Basically, what this means is that people will be able to use this app, but won't be able to get to a sensitive area or some information that you don't want them to see. And this allows you to kind of protect your data and all the messages that you share depending on what the app is from other eyes how many times especially for younger kids hey mom want to show you something she grabs your phone and instead of looking through these things she starts swiping swiping to see other piece of information that might not be for her because you just wanted to show her one thing but she just starts to looking through everything else so locking an app basically means that she won't be able to open other areas of this app unless she doesn't have a face ID, touch ID or passcode. For me, I haven't used face ID yet, even though it's been for years, I just decided to go with passcode. For me, it feels better. Yes, I know face ID takes less time than touch ID, but let's just say that I got used to this way, but it doesn't matter. People won't be able to get to your apps if they don't know your passcode, touch ID or face ID. Another interesting update when it comes to the iOS 18 is tap to cash. This is for the people who use their phones as 
paying device. Basically, you want to pay someone back for dinner or you want to pay your groceries. Let's just say that you just hold your phones together and you can transfer money to someone else's phone. I'm still from the old school people who prefer to pay in cash instead of using their phones or credit cards. But with technology involving every single day, we just can use our phones pretty much for everything and limit all the things that we carry with ourselves, like money, like wallet. We do have a digital wallet now. So pretty much you have money in your card. You can use Apple Pay to have multiple ways to pay for all your needs. And that is without carrying a physical heavy wallet. You know, Apple has been developing wallets that magnetically stick to your phone for years now. Wonder why? Because you can put one, two cards inside and that's it. You don't need to carry a big giant wallet with you to keep all your stuff. Yes, I do use my wallet mainly to put my phone inside, but with the Apple wallet, you just sort and you can just stick it to the back of your phone and carry one, two cards and that's it. You don't need anything. And now the fact that your iPhone can turn into your paying device, you might not even need to carry this. So it's a great update. One of the biggest app updates when it comes to the iOS 18 is about the photo app. It's already looking good. We do have some categories, but now you can make them even deeper and better and more personalized. You can search for people. For example, let's just say that you wanted to find a picture of your niece playing in your backyard, like from three years ago, wearing a red dress. You can search this through the photo app. You can organize them into categories. Like you went to a trip with your family, you went to a dinner with your friends, like you went out with your boyfriend or something, you can categorize these pictures. Another cool feature that you have recent days. This means that it organizes your pictures from the past couple of days. So you can search through them. For example, you wanted to post on a story, a picture, but you don't know exactly when you took it. You know, it was this week, I believe, but I don't know exactly when I took it. So you can search through this and find this picture also you can now post like collections you can prepare them for instagram stories there's so many updates when it comes to the photos app currently i have like two pictures only and they're not even of me i just took them from instagram of accounts that have been posted i just want to fill my phone with pictures of people and stuff that i like but not just to be random pictures something that i like and the fact that now the photos app can organize all this information that I'm about to build up with like specific dates, like recent days, like divided to people. You can categorize, for example, you like a celebrity or like a group of people. You can just put them into a category, write the name and say, this is these people. So here are all the pictures about these people or this person. So I believe that at least since I got my iPhone 6s, my very first iPhone. This is the biggest update when it comes to the photos app because this data field the photos app is just the same. They might do minor updates, but I believe that this is when it gets really personalized, organized. The most important thing, organized, because this is exactly what this update is about. Organizing all your photos and videos so you can finally enjoy and be faster for you to search it if you want to show someone a picture or a video. Okay, guys, that'll be the the video. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below if you bought the newest iPhone or if you have downloaded the iOS 18 and what is your favorite update so far. I was waiting for the complete version of iOS 18. This is why I'm still stuck with the latest software update of the iOS 17. And also, even though the customization of the home screen sounds amazing, I like the way my apps are arranged now. Yes, they're in light mode, but even though dark mode seems very attractive because as I said, I have dark mode to almost every single app that has dark mode. I do have to say that I like my apps the way they are. Since the very first iPhone, the iPhone 6S, my apps were arranged in a specific way and I just kept it like this through the years because it was easier for me to find my apps. And let's just say I liked it that way, but this doesn't mean that I'm not going to get the iOS 18 eventually and enjoy all the updates that it comes with because after all i don't want to be old school and just stay with the oldest update while everyone is enjoying the newest update and the ios 18 but that will be the video hope you enjoyed please smash that like button again like this video share it with friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel turn on the bell so you'll be notified whenever i post new videos 
en una versión exam. Bye.